Okay, so this one also I'm just going to go ahead and do on my computer. Again, as a reminder, 10B problem 17 is 12B problem 14. So we'll end up doing both of those on computer in this way. Consider a decreasing sequence of n positive integers. So x1 is the max. That satisfies the following two conditions. The average of the first three terms in the sequence is 2,025. Um, for all, I guess we could write that right now, right? x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to 3 times 2025. Uh, from here, for all 4k between, basically what I'm doing, by the way, my general rule, when you see something, manipulate it. So if you're going to write the average, instead manipulate it and multiply by 3. Basically change the appearance of things that you see or concepts that you see. So now for all k that's greater than or equal to 4, um, the average of the first k terms in the sequence is 1 less than the average of the first k minus 1. Let's let k equal 4 to make sense of what they're saying. So the average of the first four terms in the sequence, which would be 3 times 2025 plus x sub 4 over 4, right? Because this would have been those three. And then that's going to be equal to 1 less than the average of the first 3. 4 minus 1 is 3 terms in the sequence, which we already know was 2025. They told us here, so this must be 2024. And now what you'll do is you'll multiply by 4, and you're going to have 3 times 2025 plus x sub 4 equals 4 times 2024. And I talk about this a lot. I don't want to multiply these out. I'm going to multiply 4 times 2,000 and get 8K. K is 1,000 uh, plus 96. And I'm going to be subtracting this over, which is going to be 6K plus 75, but we're subtracting it. Learn to calculate in different ways than standard processes. You find ways to save time. You're going to get 2K plus 21, which is 2,021. So then that's going to make your x sub 4 term, no matter what the first three are, is 2,021. It's kind of interesting. I almost wonder then, could I make this 2025 in the middle, this 2027, and this 2023? Since they're centered on that value, it looks a little bit like we might be getting a sequence of uh, positive integers. We'll continue on. If I did the sum of the first five, then it would be one less average than the 2024. It would be 2023 times five. And that would be x1 to x4, which x1 to x4's average was 2024. And we're just going to multiply that by four. So it's like this. I'll just kind of show you what I'm doing here. Let's go down a little bit in space. I'm doing x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5, but I'm replacing all of this with 4 times 2024. And then I'm adding x5, and it has to equal this 5 times 2023. Okay, then I can find x5 in the same way. I'm going to get 10k plus 115, and I have to subtract 8k plus 96. So when I subtract here, I'm going to get 2k. I add 4 and I add 15. I get 2,000 plus 19. So now you're going to have x5. It looks exactly like what we are seeing or what we expected might be occurring. So let's go uh, erase this part here so we have some space again. We've got 2K plus 19. Again, not actually writing the big numbers, but distributing in a better way so we can subtract in an easier fashion. And this is exactly what I did on my paper as well um, when I solved these problems. If you want to see, uh, this is a lot like what I have right here. I'm going to actually take off the blur really quick for a second. Um, so you can see the same kind of calculation happening here. Um, so yeah, 
just to show you what that looked like. So anyhow, um, we'll put the blur back on. Not that it matters, but um, all right. Then let's zoom back in on this problem here. And we're going to clear this off and look at this really quick. So what is the greatest possible value of n? So basically how many terms are in the sequence? Um, if you're at 2027 as your first term, that is the 1014th odd integer. So therefore the answer is probably going to be this, but we do wonder about the leap greatest possible value of n because there are things larger here. We're hoping they're trap answers, but look at that one. Um, it has to be positive integers, so I can't use zero um, to add anything to the 1014. Um, what if I changed these numbers and they weren't odds? Would it have impacted this? The answer is no, it wouldn't have impacted it. It also wouldn't have impacted this. So whatever these numbers were, the another option, by the way, would be 2026, 2025, 2024. It just would no longer be the sequence of odd in, 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 integers. This would now still be 2021, still be 2019 and so on going forward all the way to the end. Um, we might wanna do one last check to feel a little bit safe. Let's go do that. If we were to check the sum of the first five times 2019 plus X sub six equals, uh, it's gonna be the previous sum uh, or actually the next one. We're saying six times 2018. So this is going to be it, right? We're saying that the sum of x1 all the way to x6 over 6 has to equal one less than the average. Oh, not 6 times 2018. It would be, and it wouldn't be 5 times 2019 either. The average is not that value. The average for the five was 2023. The average for the four was 2024. Yeah, so the five was 2023. And then when we go to six terms, that average is going to become 2022. So this becomes six times 2022. And you're going to get 12K plus 132. And you're going to be subtracting 10K plus 115, but you're subtracting that. What do you have? 2K plus 17. It's exactly what we're looking for, 2017. Now, if you wanted, you could probably prove why this is working. Let's see what X6 is. If I really wanted to, I wouldn't do it during my test. I don't need it for my test, but I might be curious to check it out after. If I have six times 2023 20, minus one, that's this. And I subtract five times 2023. 20, then I'm going to get six times 23 minus five times 23 is 2023. 20, and then I'm gonna have minus six, which will be 2017. And it's always gonna work out that way where you're taking it, this number is gonna go down by one in a second, but you're gonna be subtracting seven and so on and so forth. You could do something like that to establish it. But that's gonna be it for this problem. The solution is not just the greatest possible. To me, it seems like it's the only possible value as answer choice B. I'll see you in the next video.